Hello again, everybody. Welcome back to Just Fun Stuff. We are in the rain today, but that is not going to stop us from creating something amazing. And if you can't tell by Poppy's outfit, it's definitely sea related. We are going to be creating our very own coral reef today, and I'm very excited to get started. But before we do, don't forget to leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel. All right, not wasting any time. This is the first build in a while that we've done where I haven't actually had to take something down to make room to do it. So that was very exciting. Um, we're working in front of the general store today. I'm making use of all of that beachfront. And what we're doing at this moment is obviously putting up a cliffside because I want to have the backdrop of our coral reef as kind of like little water spouts or waterfalls. It also blocks the uh, seeing the general store when you're in front of it because obviously you, you want to focus on the coral reef. Now, the reason I wanted to do the coral reef is if you're like me and you're ever going on any of the Animal Crossing sites or you're looking at posts that people have done, I came across this amazing custom for a coral reef style uh, path pattern which I will include in the description so if anybody wants it you can definitely check it out she also has a couple other designs that are on her creator code that are actually really really cute that I might go back and take a look at myself but my po going back to my original point I came across that coral reef pattern and I thought that is just so cute it might be fun for summer to find a way to incorporate a few more shell things, do something different on the beach, and just just try it out. Because if, if you know me and you've followed our channel or followed any of the videos that we've made, um, paths are so beautiful but not my thing. So whenever I find a new one, I like to try and challenge myself and use it and make it creative. <laughs> Does it always work out? Not necessarily, but we like to try and that that's half the fun of this game is just finding the stuff that's out there and giving it a try and there are so many talented people out there that are so kind as to share their designs and patterns with us so people like me can try doing fun cool things with them. Back to Poppy, she is just carving out the top of our cliffside here again. It's more of a backdrop for what's going to be happening. You don't want to see the stuff behind it. And you want to be able to decorate it as well. Put some shell items up there. Uh, I think we're going to be using some vines, some lamps, some mum cushions. And here comes the path pattern. It's absolutely gorgeous. The pinks and the corals and the blue. Just so pretty. Now, I'm not completely covering the sand with it because you want it to be kind of sporadic and kind of windy and twisty and all over the place. And then we're going to use items, obviously, to fill it in. And I'm definitely going to say it's not perfect patterning on my part. But again, paths are like, they, they're not my thing. I love them and I appreciate those that can make really intricate paths. I am not that person. Um, but I do appreciate a good path. But like I said, I'm just trying to make it a little windy and not, not a complete piece. Like I want it broken up over the area that we're working with on the ground here. So that's what we're doing. We are trying to create a neat pattern using this brand new path that we found. And I love it. It's just, it's so bright and it's so pretty. And with summer coming up, I, I just, I wanted something colorful and a little different. Um, we've been using a lot of the new items, which is amazing because the new items are great. Who doesn't want to use those? They make everything look so great. Um, the storefronts I'm obsessed with. Castles, love them. But uh, this is kind of going back old school a little bit using some older designs. I don't think other than the vine, there's really anything that would be new in this build, which is good too, because for people that don't have a bunch of the new DIYs or don't have a lot of the new items, although I'm pretty sure most of everybody does, but it's a good way to use stuff that we've had from before. It's a good way to use these shell items again. And again, it's just fun and colorful and just something different. And I wanted to try the path. All right, just 
finishing completing this little bit, once the path is down, then it gets fun. Then we get to have fun experimenting and decorating, and that's the best part. The path part, yes, it is like the groundwork, same with the back, but once that's done, you really see it come together. But there you can see the backdrop with the coral that's now on the ground, of course pulling out our storage so that we can get all our items. And again, it's a lot of the shell items, a lot of mush items, or not mush items, the mum cushions, um, wooden standees are big for this one. Pretty simple. Oh, there are some mush items, actually. I just rethought about that. <laughs> there are definitely some mush partitions in here. I was going to say, uh, there's very few builds I don't use some sort of mush item, but I did it in the green because, you know, it kind of resembles growing plants under the sea, and that's what we're going for. Uh, throwing, of course, a shell table in here. And normally when I'm doing the shell items, I'm obsessed with the pearlescent look. It's really, really pretty, but because there's so much color going on with the coral, I did all these shell stuff in almost their natural tones to just kind of change it up a little. I thought putting too much pearl on the pink and the blue, it would just be too much. So kept it a little natural. All right, we're just doing some shell lamps because the lighting for this will obviously be very limited because I'm not gonna be putting street lamps or tiki posts inside the coral reef. Of course, you gotta start with the shell arch. Now putting a little decorating up top, shell lamps so it'll be nice and bright. Shell partitions. There's so many shell items. You could even round this out. I didn't do it, but you know, hindsight, while well, you're re-watching it. Um, the mermaid fencing would be really cute around it in areas. I might go back and do that. So if you come on the dream address and it's slightly altered, it might be because I've gone back and rethought things and thought, how can I change this? Shaping it out a little bit, of course, as we go. The shell beds is a must over here on the actual coral reef part. There's the mush partitions. They just look so good when they're all done up in green. They look like some sort of sea greenery. There's Apple coming to check it out. I think at one point she starts singing to one of the shell speakers that I have, so it's 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 cute. Lots of mum cushions. Oh, had to have a chat. Making room more partitions they just they look so good and look at this is such an area user i love that um you could make this really small but i wanted to make it take up this whole section of beachfront because this is the only section of beach that i have that isn't a continuous section this one is cut off by the little river edge there so it's its own separate entity so i thought you might as well just fill the entire thing up the rest of my beaches if you have the same map layout as mine, they kind of go along the sides and it's one solid line. So it's it's long stretches. You can do lots of different things. But with this one, because it's its own area, figured let's just fill it up. All right. Now we're grabbing some wood. We're going to be making some more items. Making some changes up top. There we go. Wanting to put the vine in for sure. I I think, again, it's one of those things in hindsight, I might make a few more and put a couple more up because they look like winding seaweed coming out of the ground. I might put some down on the bottom, maybe on the side. I only had the one that I had enough items to build it with. I only had so many vines, so definitely might add some more. But still, I love the way it looks. The grass standees, of course. They look like underwater seaweed and grass, so that's a must-have in any coral reef. But you can really see, I even have the glowing boulder. I added that, some garden rocks, just literally a mishmash of everything. Cypress plants, it all just kind of works and comes together. You can see how well it's coming together. All right, back to crafting. We need more grass standees. I only had a couple in my storage, so I wanted to grab a few more. Uh, hedge standee. All the standees look really, really good, and they really do mimic underwater plants. 
And I love that you can customize them and make them really, really dark or really, really light. So that's always fun. I went with really dark, the summer colors, because I thought it just worked. Now here comes the fun part of trying to put things where I want them. So having to put up cliffs so that you can climb and then take it down again, standing a certain way so that you can get something up. Did not at all mean to do that, so we had to go back around, pushing it forward. Now we can knock out the cliff again, put the light back up. I put some floor lights in behind some things so that they would shine up bright when it was nighttime, because again, the lighting is going to be fairly limited on this, so lots of floor lights on the ground, just trying to accentuate it. I love any, any island at night is just beautiful. The lighting items that they have in this game are just so pretty. So I try to incorporate a lot of light. I love spending time at night on the island. More floor lights. There goes the standee. You can really see it starting to mimic an above ground coral reef now. I'm really happy with the way it turned out. I love the path. It's super cute. It takes up the whole beach and it just, it feels so summery. I absolutely adore it. I'm super happy with the way it turned out. It looks absolutely amazing. Lots and lots of items. Cannot complain. It just, it's a beautiful area. Like I said, I will include the creator code in the description, but I want to thank you guys for watching and building this with me, for liking and subscribing, and I will definitely be back with more Animal Crossing videos.